the Kinevo knee joint is now compatible with a cosmetic foam cover. Grind the foam cover according to the dimension of your user. Dismount the prosthetic foot. Take care that the foot position does not change. Mount a pyramid adapter temporarily that fits through the distal hole of the foam cover. Protruding screws can be covered with tape to avoid ruptures in the foam cover when removing it. Attach the centering plate to the Kinevo over the receiver of the charging unit using the O-ring and assess the fit. Pull on the foam cover over the prosthesis and mount the prosthetic foot again. Feel the area of the centering bore through the foam and create an opening. A scalpel can be used for this. Insert the centering rod into the centering bore with the end where the two nuts are placed. Do not remove these nuts because these serve as a limit stop to protect the charging receiver. If the nuts are loose, please fix them at a distance of 5 mm from the end of the centering rod. Apply the hole cutter to the centering rod. Rotate clockwise to cut a hole into the foam cover. Please note, applying too much pressure can rip the foam and lead to an uneven inner surface. Remove the hole cutter, unscrewing the centering rod. Remove the foam cover from the prosthesis again and detach the centering plate from the Kinevo. When installing the charging shaft receiver, please ensure the tongue-shaped extension is positioned distally. This snaps easily into the recess above the tube clamp. The O-ring can now be used to attach the charging shaft receiver. Reapply the foam cover and connect the foot. Position the cut hole over the charging shaft receiver. Please note the correct orientation of the charging shaft when installing it. The hinge must be positioned in distal direction. The two offset projected lugs on the charging shaft must be placed medio-lateral into the charging shaft receiver. To lock the charging shaft into position, gently turn clockwise. Care must be taken not to push in or pull the charging shaft as this can damage the interlocking. Measure the protruding material of the charging shaft. Remove the charging shaft by turning counterclockwise. Shorten using a suitable tool according to the measured length. Ensure the cut is perpendicular to the charging shaft. Any deviation may affect the interlocking with the receiver. Deburr and smooth the edges using sandpaper. Reinstall the charging shaft and assess the fit. It should be flush with the surface of the foam cover. 
To finish the foam cover and improve the aesthetics, cosmetic stockings can be applied. To allow access to the charger, it is necessary to expose the charging shaft cover. Sliding a thin sheet of trolan under the stockings will protect the charging shaft cover. Glue can be applied to the stockings over this area, ensuring the area is not too large. Once the glue is dry, a hole can be cut in the stockings. To ensure a tight fit, a smaller hole than the charging shaft cover is recommended. The stockings can be carefully stretched around the charging shaft, hiding the glued area. Finally, check the assembly by connecting the battery charger. here because you are seeking for some information, new technology or new treatment. Your time is very valuable, very important for you and this is why you selected and you choose Best Care Forum to find your information which you are seeking for. And we are glad to see you again. Thank you my friend, thank you my colleagues for your support. Any big work it starts with the first step and this step was taken from me a few months ago thank you very much I am really very happy to be with you the only thing I need is your support please you write your comment under the video please if you see something is not perfect write your comment to me talk to me call me if you know and if you if you want that the future generations they will get the best information for their medical health and medical treatments.